Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and welcome to a fire truck special. It's been a while, hasn't it? I have done a fire truck special before, but uh, so many new things have turned up to show you. I couldn't resist doing another one. Have my hands shrunk? I'm used to dealing with boxes this size. Now we have a um, rather large box from way back when. In fact, I've done some research. I found a box similar to this in the 1965 catalogue. Let's see if we can see it. Mm, here we are. It's not exactly the same. It's a G box. Not sure what box this is. Might be something you can fill me in on. But uh, as early as 1965, maybe even earlier. That's the oldest catalogue I have at the Mo. Should we just? open it up. Now that I've been reassured that my hands have not shrunk. A little bit worse for wear, but you know, aren't we all when we get to that age? Somebody didn't sweep the floor? No, it's a hole in the floor. <laughs> so I won't be launching that one over my shoulder. That can go over there in the background. We might need to move it because I've got quite a lot to show you today. So there it is. As I said, it's had a bit of storm damage must have been the hurricane of 72. The corners are chipped off. It's got a door missing. Should we dare look around the back? It's always a bigger mess around the back, isn't it? Oh no, we're good. Oh, it's even got the fireman's pole. Don't have any tiny firemen to show you using the fireman's pole. But not bad. I've seen these mint online and uh, I would have to mortgage a real house to get them. They are shockingly expensive. But we won't gripe about prices these days. We can't afford to. We've got too much to do. Should we try and populate it with the best cars we have? Gee, I've got a lot to show you today. If I start rambling, just shout at the TV screen because we don't have time for my stories. Uh, what's the closest period feature we have. Uh, I suppose something like this. Fire chief on the hood, driver behind the wheel. He's given up, he's taken his hands off the wheel. I got this cheap. Ford Galaxy. Got it for $18 at a uh, convention a couple of years back. I couldn't believe my luck. And I was in two minds whether to ask the seller is that price the actual price or are you just luring me in uh, he was happy with 18 I was happy to pay it and uh, everybody left happy slightly later version Ford Galaxy different wheels different everything really but really good to have those two so they're pretty much what I have in keeping the oldest matchbox fiery I have is this. haven't even bothered cleaning it up because uh, this is how I bought it. This is how it will stay in my collection. That's got to be pre-65 but who knows. So we'll slide him around the back. He can be the junker. And should we switch to helicopters before we get onto this five pack beside me? This is the best uh, fire helicopter I have, in my opinion anyway. My favourite helicopter matchbox has ever produced. So we'll put him in the make-believe helipad and I think we'll just get on to open the five pack because I need that fire department helicopter. I thought I had it, in fact I have three of it, but not like that. We'll investigate. This is from 90 something I think, yeah. 94, so 95 release. Great to have it. And this is back when the boxes were openable and closable. But I don't collect packaging, just the cars and trucks. Thank you. Oh, I'm not sure if I already had that command center. You get all the command centers out too. Yes. So the original helicopter that uh, 
caught my imagination when I was a kid. About 12, I think I was, when I got hold of one of these. I had the C Sprite before that, but I never really liked them. Um, I didn't bother bringing them out because neither of them have fire department on them. So that's that one, which I thought I had, but no. See how they switch them up. Cheeky, very cheeky. And of course, you've got to go the negative view white on red opposed to red on white. So, lovely little fire department fleet. Are there any more? Yes, there's more. There's fire rescue. So, I can't even tell you which one came out of that box now. I think it was that one. Yeah, because the font kind of matches. There you go. So that is a complete helipad now. I need more space than that. But, uh, I don't have the space to give them because this table ain't big enough for the fleet. But we'll do what we can. Fire Chief cars will go along with LTD. That's when they cared about the light bars. One red, one blue, separate piece. Lovely, lovely car. Big, big old thing. We won't put them inside because uh, we've got others for that. Um, should we stick with Fire Chief cars? Why not? I've got this incredible looking thing, quite a new B, old car but new casting. Uh, 51 Hudson Hornet, and that was from the 2017 onwards shape. So we'll line him up the side. And um, we've got a couple of him. I think you only have one Fire Chief per station, but. Let's say there's a fire chief conference going on inside. So we'll line those up there. Uh, this is one of my favourite all-time castings, actually, from Matchbox. Originally the police car, then the taxi, and now the fire chief. It's the Crown Ford Victoria, or Ford Crown Victoria. What a beauty. MBX County on the side, so you can go prominently outside. And uh, I think one of the latest fire chiefs is that one in the Ford Interceptor. Not quite red, but still a good looking car. We'll put him out by the old clanger at the back. Um, we've got another one there, so they can go together. Just to plug up every loose surface. Sticking with the fire chiefs. That's a beauty. That's from the 70s, I think, isn't it? Um, I've got a two-pack along here somewhere, too. That's how that one came, usually, or similar. Along with an ambulance, different stickers, different light bar, too, but same sort of thing. I think they used the same base and then changed up the roof and interior. Burned a different sticker on the door. So he has a well-earned place, and sticking with 70s, this very strange looking beast. It came out in a few colours too, but this one the Fire Chief. One more, one more Fire Chief. I think we've got a double. Oh, that was in the two-pack, yes. I didn't uh, rip anything open off camera, I promise. Pretty much all my unboxings happen on camera for your benefit, and mine obviously. <laughs> I get to keep them in the yeah, in the collection, but I very much enjoy having you along for the ride. So welcome aboard. That's the utility from recent years. I think about 2016, wasn't it? Somewhere around there. Shall we get into the fire trucks? Of course, and we'll start off with the original. Now that I've spotted it. Yeah, not original really, but uh, the Blaze Buster from the 70s, probably about 77, somewhere in there, wasn't it? Heavy little sucker. Shall we put him inside? Is he too new? He's probably too new for the fire station. We'll go for something like this. This is a little bit banged up. It's the f uh, Denver Fire Department. We get a year? No. But I'd say that's close to the fire station, so we can 
reverse them in there. It's got to be fitting, doesn't it? And we'll fast forward to recent times with this fella. Lots of different colours for these, but I'll uh, mainly focus on the red ones. I'll show you all the other colours I have, but I won't put them on the table because it feels uh, like it should be a red fire truck day for some reason. It's that one, and is that a double? No, it's not. It's got the variant. One's chrome and one is not. So they can look like they're just leaving the station. One just reversed into the other, but we'll forgive it that. It's an emergency. Uh, sticking with the five pack, or zipping back to the five pack, a little bit of uh, package rub there, but that's all right. Yeah, other than that, it's got the water cannon in case the right breaks out of the fire or uh, whatever. And the one with the extendable ladder. Nice. I'm not sure how we're going to go for space here. We're going to do the last one of the five pack and we might as well lead on with all the command center type vehicles now that we've got this one out. That was a real star of the early 80s, wasn't it? Some have suspension, some don't. The phone unit, same sort of thing. It's more for airport. But when a fire exists, a fire engine must go. Metro Airport, Unit 3, phone units there. Don't worry if some of these disappear out of shot. We'll take a a step back at some point and, and the yellow one of course you had to have the yellow one metro airport on the side let's put in there i think it's time for uh, a step back already isn't it do we have to go up just yet no not yet uh, here's a peculiar one in that it's got the a little stick on the side this came from a uh, action set I picked up and of course it's got a variant in that decal on the door and supposedly used the stick to extend the ladder seemingly um, unnecessary but there you go it's that one and oh we forgot a helicopter not my favorite helicopter of all time but it's fire department, so we'll pop him in the helipad area. And I showed you the two pack. Oh, here's a peculiar one. We're normally used to seeing um, this casting from Matchbox in either the dark blue with tan interior, the police eye um, with various tints of blue window, and also the taxi. But this is a Bulgarian version and the Bulgarians went crazy on colours. We'll assume this is a fire chief, but imagination has got to make the leap, doesn't it? We'll assume. It's got something that looks like a bit of a fire on, the, on there. So we'll pop him there, why not? And a couple of unboxings. Where would life be without an unboxing? Best of series from Matchbox. This is the 75 Mac CF Pumper in a, a strange golden red what year well, it's not that old 2016 uh, i think there were 10 in the series i have the other nine behind me but uh, only one fire truck and this is a fire truck special this won't get a home on the table today because of its goldness here's the box A bit gaudy, chrome base, big truck wheels, they're quite in keeping with the bling bling. Company 33 on the roof, it's okay. And there is the box. Pop them off to the side. Oh, it's got rubber tyres too, did I mention? No. Pop him off the side, to the side, another unboxing. 
while we're making a mess. Number 13 of ooh, about 94, uh, 95, 96 release. It's number 13. It was the Snorkel Fire Engine with a purple interior. It's very strange. And of course, it's got the extendable fire person coming to rescue you from the third floor. Jump! Sweet. Peculiar colour of the uh, interior there. But they always had to do something different. Um, oh, another scale. There's the working rigs. I haven't seen working rigs around for a long time now, so if you have working rigs, keep them. They might be worth something one day. Uh, do we have that unboxed? Uh, yes, we do. So, uh, that's the back. Not particularly interesting. This is the Pierce Quantum Aerial Ladder Truck. Oops, is that it? Yes, <laughs> that's it. I have two of these to show you. I almost got confused. Humongous compared to the others, isn't it? Great looking thing. Should we leave it in? Yeah, we'll leave it in. Put it over there. And this was its buddy -o. What a monster. They did get bigger than this somewhere along the line uh, with Super Kings. I'll bring out some other um, matchbox. In fact, I have some above me. Do you want to have a look? Crane your neck. I'll bring one down. Let's bring one down. I don't want it to be a three and a half hour video. Maybe you do. <laughs> I've got other things to do, you know. I'll bring one down. Um, what, do you, what do you want there? This is models of yesteryear, by the way. This is the 1948 Land Rover. Do you want to see that one? Or um, I never know which is my favourite because it always changes. Tell you what, I'll show you this one. And if you want to see the others, I did do a, another video on this quite a while ago now, maybe a year ago now, um, featuring all six. So we'll take a quick look. And... Mm, I was going to say I don't want to destroy anything, even though I am a destructive type person. Yeah, I'll quickly do this one, and then uh, if you're interested in seeing all of the set of those, the ones I have anyway, you can just scroll through the videos after this one and take a closer look. Oh, that's right, had the, the real lump of a trailer. I was impressed by it then, and I'm, I am impressed by it now. Look at that! What a wonderful thing. So yeah, we'll uh, slide him off to the side, because he's really screwing up our scales. We'll forgive the working rigs for doing the same, but they're not quite as crazy big. All right, on with the show. Uh, more unboxings. Creme de la creme of Matchbox in the Lesney edition Pierce Dash Fire Engine. This, of course, with the metal base and uh, quite a few optional e extras. Aircon, decent stereo, the works. Yeah, thumping heavy thing. Amazing. It's great to know that they can still do that, and I hope one day they do another Lesney edition for us. I'll be all over that like a rash. 60th, uh, oh, it's not 60th, yes it is, 60th anniversary commemorative edition in the Blaze Blitzer. And we've got a few extras with this too. And uh, should have brought the scales out for this one because it's a lump. MBX Fire Res Q on the side. Really chunky, like chunky chicken, except fire truckish. And we'll put him up there. Do we have? Yes, we've got something else to unbox naturally. Number thirteen again, huh? The uh, that snorkel one was number thirteen of ninety. Was that ninety-five? And this would be sort of early to mid seventies, wouldn't it? In the old picture box. So 
same sort of thing as the snorkel we saw before, but uh, completely different otherwise. Unpainted metal base, five arch wheels, and a lovely red. I should get him uh, rescuing somebody off the roof. Imagine if uh, the fire station caught fire. Wouldn't be for long, would it? Good enough help there to sort everything out. A strange notion. Somebody calling the fire department. Yeah, where's the fire? Oh, it's at the fire station. Finish my cuppa, then go and put it out. Did I show you this one before? Oh, I've got a fleet of Lesneys. Look at that. How strange. If you can be forgiven for having doubles of anything, it's got to be fire engines. <laughs> fire engines and police cars and ambulances. You can have as many as you like. Tell them I said so. Uh, one of the more recent ones. This one from the Russia series from Matchbox. And the Scania. And there's a bunch of Scanias around, but... Uh, they're eluding me at the moment, so we'll just switch a route back to the snorkel. This one, the rescue unit, fire, in an odd orange. So we'll put him right off to the side because he's going to really screw up my colour scheme. Um, let's switch a route to the hazmat squad. Gee, they love uh, sending these out to us, don't they? Not the real thing, obviously, but uh, they've changed colours and window tint on us many, many times on this casting. It's a good looking casting. I do like it, but uh, I'd rather have, uh, well, I'd rather have quite a few things back that they have discontinued. Go and bush. You'll need a bush fire truck. Uh, it looks a bit like the 60th anniversary one I showed. There it is. Yeah, so nice variant there fire and rescue on the side instead of mbx fire rescue this is the first time some of these have met and um, i've been uh, storing things in other boxes because I, i've been meaning to do another fire special for quite some time and uh, every time i go to do the special um, some more um, are sold to me and then uh on their way so I can't do it and then I forget about it and then scheduling affects everything um, all the new stuff comes in and mail calls come in so I have to do those straight away for, uh, for relevance I suppose you could call it and the poor old fire special gets shif shifted back like the police special and every other special they're, um, they're not time sensitive so they get uh, they become the victim of uh, reschedules. Fire watch on the side. Hmm. Don't just look at it, mate. Put it out. That's that one there. Another bushy. And it's a variant. So nice to have those parked up together in the station. Sweet. And we'll just keep rolling on. Here's another scan here. I knew I'd spot them sooner or later. And that's the French version. Don't know where he went. He got lost in a sea of red. Um, and we'll just quickly flick through, but not put on the table some of the other variants to shock you. And white, no. Black, no. I know um, a lot of these are real fire services, but you know, you want a red one, don't you? School bus livery, kind of. And yeah, just doesn't suit. And even the snorkel, Matchbox Fire Department, in a weird maroon hazmat that's quite a new one isn't it hazmat team 
and another bushy in white bush fire brigade number 72 and green why not not in my fire department mate and strange orange uh, well no it's not orange <laughs> is it yellow or green certainly not orange and yeah didn't they pimp my ride it's metal on metal though so uh, points for that at least and another couple before we get back to what we love strange strange looking thing alarm center I am alarmed and yet another floodlight heavy rescue why would you need your floodlights rescued um, oh and we've got some cameos from Majorette these are great this was one of many many gifts from Jerome at Chasing Diecast Cars we'll keep that on the table and also this was from Chasing Diecast Cars Majorette and I'm not sure where I got this one from it might have been Jerome as well rescue unit but that'd be tied in with the fire department somewhere along the line and this one from Majorette 2 and the Volkswagen so we'll shuffle those off because this is a matchbox scene we'll hide them behind the weirdly scaled model of yesteryear that's a great looking truck isn't it right uh, more ladder trucks these ones it's always down to the fire department not the casting and then they weighs it up with a stripe or whatever but um, enough to keep us interested isn't it doesn't take much when it's a fire department vehicle um, did I show you one of those mm, probably not maybe no can't see another one over there another variant of the bush um, fire rescue squad he can stay um, we'll get that yellow one out of the way this is all about tradition here folks I've got a beat up old Merriweather I think it's a Merriweather maybe that should have gone in yeah Merriweather fire engine maybe that should have gone in the the old fire station we'll slam him in there that's how they get knocked around you know uh, this one kind of a weird red but the flame tamer can stay sort of a rusty red that one and back to the hazmat team but more traditional colors you might have noticed I'm ripping through these very quickly because there's still a lot to get out the German fire department I think that's German lovely Scania's they look fantastic together yet another ladder truck is that different? yep it's different I think uh, three or four months ago now I went through my fire truck collection and weeded out all the doubles because I was running out of space and um, I swapped them for ones I didn't have which is the best way to propel your collection forward it uh, seemed like quite a hard task to, to get rid of my doubles but um, I didn't really um, have the room for them this is a great old one this is actually a very new casting but um, the ooh, so 63 Mac so I sit partially blind now from the glare it's quite a newbie oh look at that another PS it's um, similar to the, the uh, working rigs isn't it miniature um where's that lesney one oh there it is oh look at that hmm. oh imagine that with a uh, metal base looking great and something slightly different i didn't even know i had that one who knew not i that's a great looking one Try and figure out what that is, but these uh, it's a Seagrave, and it's a Thailand casting, so I can't even remember where I got that one from. Hmm. That's the delightful thing about uh, getting a collection like this. 
you surprise yourself. And I don't have Alzheimer's. It's uh, it's not that, not yet anyway. But um, I do often forget what I have in the collection. It's expanded exponentially over the last several years, and uh, I can't keep up with it, which is quite a nice feeling. <laughs> The whole point of this collection is to be lost in it on a daily basis, and uh, it's typically what happens. And uh, what else do I have to show you after this? Gee, I think that's it. Metro Fire Department, another snorkel. So we'll put him maybe... Oh, we don't have room. Struth. Actually, one of the fire chiefs can come out front and... Uh, this fella can help fight the blaze on the old station. Holy smoke. I better step back. Go up town, upstairs. For a good old look. Wow. Now I do have more than this, believe it or not. There's the convoy truck that I just couldn't find. And uh Others I kept stumbling across. There were a couple of two packs for a majorette I've had for years around the place. But um, yeah, you've got to limit it to what you can fit on the table, I suppose. That was great. What cheap therapy. Hope you enjoyed the show. I always enjoy bringing these, especially the specials, to you. They're fantastic to make. And uh, even though it'll take several hours to properly clear this away without damaging anything and uh, putting it somewhere where I can find them easily again. Um, they are a lot of fun to do. I hope you enjoyed the show. Like, share, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.